User was moved to your channel. User, User was joined to your, your channel. channel. All right. So okay, uh, sticky. Uh, let's go uh, to the slide number sixteen, please. All right. Okay, that slide's about the thousand newsletter. It's called from the battlefield. Okay. Uh, you can subscribe to the newsletter on the Tau website if you wish. It's a it's good. Uh, it's a good post, a good newsletter. Uh, uh, they talk about any. Oh yeah, here's the the yep. link. Just post an example to one. Like, personally, they're really cool, but we don't want to obligate you. Yeah. You know, it's not yeah, something yeah. that's we really required to like. Oh my God, you have to sign up. <laughs> personally, I just thought it. Exactly right. I honestly never used to care about newsletters. Never knew what the heck they were. Someone sent me an example just as I did to you, and I actually thought they were pretty uh, nifty. So yeah. 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 Is that pretty good? Uh, myself, I don't uh, uh, don't subscribe at, at the first time, but when I saw the first newsletter coming in, I, I just my jaw dropped, and I said, man. Let me hit this subscribe button, man. <laughs> I want to read that newsletter. Yes, our I division, want. people within our division actually make these once a month. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. Nice, someone takes the time. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, let's go to slide number 17, please. All right. Okay, that's about the Tao social media. Uh, we are all these the social media channels if you wish there we, uh, there's a facebook page a steam group a youtube channel uh, some people here as well go to stream videos as well while they're playing that was mainly for sticky <laughs> yeah you can click on the each logo they will pop up the links to the the, the channels uh, uh, and by the way, are you in the Steam group already? Uh, okay. no. No? Okay, uh, uh, I can't invite him. Can it, Chris? Yeah, once, okay. I, once I make you a DI, I'll promote you, but uh, you'd worry about that next slide. But well, since we're on it right now, basically what you could either do is you could ask him to depending how familiar he is with Steam, you could either ask him to uh, search for the Tall oh, Escape from Tarkov group or uh, send him the link for it, which I'll do right now for him. Yeah, I was about to do that. Well, there you go. So you already know what to do. <laughs> so, yeah, next slide, you, when, you'll see the question pop up. And from there, yeah, uh, once you, I promote you to DI, I'll uh, make you group moderator. Uh, to the point where yes you can either accept these invites or you can add him as a steam friend and you know shoot him an invite and he all he has to do is accept it which personally i like adding him um through steam you know just so he has another way of contacting you and just because it's a lot easier just to uh join because all he has to do is accept it after you send the invite so yeah. okay there you go i'll just do that and i'll, I'll worry about it I'll, I'll worry about uh, accepting him in All right. Uh, so, so the, actually, the Steam. One thing I do want to note is the Steam group is actually really cool. Um, before the mandatories, you know, it'll send out a, a, a notification, just like you would a Steam message, or you're receiving a Steam message like an hour, thirty minutes, five minutes prior. So it's actually pretty handy. Nice. Other than that, it's actually pretty cool forums and way to contact everyone else in the Escape from Tarkov division. Nice, yeah, that is handy. So let me know when you've uh, uh, requested to join and I can accept right there, buddy. Yeah, I think Take I did it while I'm, I signed in. There it is. Uh, so yeah, Spirit, you, you did perfect on this slide. There's nothing, once again, I hate to obligate people by telling them this, but I just, you know, that's... The only one I really point out is the Steam group because of that hour, 30 minute, 5 minute prior notification that pops up. Um, you know, I throw in the YouTube that we have video tutorials on learning the callouts. 
uh, in the Twitch. Some people uh, do. We do have a, a main Twitch, which uh, other people do stream off of. Just keep in mind that when if you're in a channel with someone that is streaming, it should be significant to you that they are streaming. Either they'll say it, they'll be in the streaming channel, or they'll have like uh, they'll edit their nickname and put like slash streaming in there. Yeah, just yeah, if if they're streaming through Taw.net, just you know make sure they're uh, be courteous of the code of ethics. Right. By the way, with the cursing rule, you might be thinking, "What the heck?" But you know, if you if you slip a word here and there, try to avoid it in all or overall. You know, but if you slip one, you you know you won't you won't be yelled at nothing like that. Right. And it's yeah. not that serious, but to the point where you know, depending who you run into, if you run into knives and I, we'll probably just you know if you say f this, we'll probably just say frick or frick this, we'll replace what you said and stuff like that. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know how to, I used to edit some old videos, and like, I would have people with really dirty mouths, and I'd have to edit all yeah. through it and stuff. May, yeah, main reason we have it is, you know, just so this is a place for you to uh, have it. And there, you know, unfortunately, there are some people that, you know, don't like this rule, but in other hands, uh, fortunately, <laughs> other people have left other clans because of bad language, and not just that, you know, the fact that language made uh made every problem more more serious it heated the moment and they've actually joined this because they heard we have this rule so you know there's there's goods and bads to it but yeah hopefully you can notice why small price to pay you know yeah practically <laughs> by the way I'll, I'll summarize like this whole presentation like in in like 30 seconds not even not much yeah. for you to remember at all so don't freak out from there, yeah. Literally, one more slide, and that's it. Yes or no questions. <laughs> okay. So, Sticky, uh, I'll ask a few questions for you, okay? All right. Uh, the first, uh, I know, but uh, you you know how to find yourself in the speak, okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you understand our code of ethics? I do. Right. Do you understand the chain of command, the COC we have here in the TAL? I do. Alright, do you understand the TeamSpeak protocols? Yes. Okay, let's do a quick run here. Uh, let's just say you are... Uh, you just log in. What do you do? Uh, sticky, make, sticky buttons checking in. Alright. <laughs> Tongue twister. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you know... Uh, me, myself, uh, the first time uh, I always do. Uh, Spirit is. Uh, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, here. You know, we know, we know. <laughs> but you're doing fine, doing fine. Uh, let's just say you're going down to a channel, a different channel. Sticking, sticking, checking down. Okay, and when you're logging out. Did you checking out? Alright, that's good. Uh, the others we'll have in. Uh, Time, time. Uh, do you understand about the events and attendance? Yes. Okay. So tell me, when your mandatory date and time event? Uh, Sunday at seven. Okay. Uh, uh, did you apply to the Tau it, uh, Tau it EFT official team group? Yes, I did. Okay, that's. Yep, okay. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it right now. Don't worry. All right. It. So and uh, please be open and and speak plainly if you uh, please. Uh, but how do you like Tal so far? And so. Mm, so far, so good. You guys are really nice. I mean, the, the codes are good. I uh, think we'll have a good time. Bam! There you go. You're in the Steam group, by the way. Um. Can I actually ask you how you uh, found Tall? Well, I'm always running the little e uh, EFT, so I always see you guys ah. running, running <laughs> through the queue. Yeah. Like, uh, there's a bunch of Tall guys running. Yeah, and there's a, there's a couple good. other clans too. Well, yeah, there's a few. You, I hate, I hate it, but some I, I can't stress enough that some people, or a lot of people, I'm not gonna lie to you. People say we exit camp. You, I don't know if you heard this or not. Probably shouldn't be something I should say, or even let you know about. But you know, some people, I don't know, 
we, we never exit camp. I've never ran into a group that I joined that exit camp. People say we have hackers. I've never, I've never even saw a hacker in EFT yet. I don't know if you have. I mean, but I've, yet alone, I've seen some suspicious moments, but never like. Oh, of course, yeah. Me neither. I've never saw a flying hacker or anything like that. But there you go. There's people that are out oh, there that are that are haters, and you know. They are real. Oh yeah, they're real. Yeah, people. I saw one one time. <laughs> in the woods. I just saw one flying. Just never mistake a bird for a fly hacker. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, it's like a meme now, an EFT meme. You know, freaking, oh my god, it's a flying hacker when they when they see a bird. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah. I feel like I got uh, killed by an invisible hatchet guy, too, like earlier. Yeah, or if it was just fun. really bad season. Like I could have swipe it and I was taking damage and I was just like, sitting around, but there's no one around me. That's EFT for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, so, um... Oh. What's up? Uh, I just see the... Why, uh, we, know, uh, we know we have hacks in the game, but the devs are working to get rid of them. We saw that, we know that, so... Yep, yep. You just have to wait. There's always hope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, I'm gonna just uh, run through slide 20 real quick. Uh, it might be a little bit confusing when, when we go over the... Feel free to jump. I like to elaborate on that, but... So first and foremost, congratulations, buddy. Uh, Spirit, I personally think he did perfect. Uh, he is he is training to do it, so. So if you didn't understand anything, obviously you can ask him again. And feel free to contact him any way, shape, or form. Um, if you want to contact him via email, it, uh, use his call sign. That's uh, literally how it is in TFC, except without the EFT, you know. Uh, mine's crispy, you can lord knives at taw.net, crispy at taw.net, you know even yours it'll afford it to their main email okay. from there you know if you want to you can talk to each other at each other on steam have that a way of contact okay. as i'm sure you know it might be this presentation was probably a lot crazy for you but to mainly summarize it you know only things that we stress about is hitting that excuse button if you can't attend the code of ethics trying to think of anything else I, I think that's literally the two main points that we'd at, hopefully ask you to remember and keep in mind yeah, other I than that, that yeah awesome so from there uh, yes you are recruited now uh, from there once you obtain those four mandatories uh, you'll be promoted to PFC uh, the only benefits that you get from becoming a PFC is being able to change games which is main games you know uh, your main game you signed up for being EFT that's pretty much how you're monitored within tall uh, or you attend uh, EFT's mandatories, but if you find yourself playing like uh, Mac, let's use Mac Warrior as an example. Uh, if you you know you see yourself playing that game more, uh, you can obviously switch to there once you become PFC. You guys do daily or I'm oh yeah three or affirmative. Yep. So by the way, yes you are feel you are able to join any game that you want. You are not strictly here for EFT. Um, the only time we'd like you here is for those mandatories. You can play, you can be in the CSGO lobby, the DayZ lobby, Arma 3 lobby, as long as you want. Just make sure you're here for the mandos. Cool. But yeah, for example, if you were to play DayZ more than you do EFD, yes, you could switch. And I think one more, I don't, I can't remember another benefit of being a PFC. There was one more, but uh, oh well. <laughs> um, but from there, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, I can run you through the TeamSeek channels real quick, and that's to help you find those maps that we have and, and whatnot, and your chain of command. And then from there, I can, if you want, if you have time to play, I can introduce you to some Pete. Yeah, do it. Awesome. So. All right, man. Uh, one thing, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, no, go for it. First, go for it. Uh, Sticky. Can you say uh, give me your nickname to the Steam so I can add it there? There you go. <laughs> that should be same sticky underscore mittens all caps. Or just copy and paste your your, uh, your profile that you did earlier. Yeah. <laughs> that would be actual URL. Yep. All right. It'll do the same thing either way. But yeah, sometimes when I I get people to add me. <laughs> Because, you know, there's only one of me, literally. If you search my name, you'll never find another account. When I search other people's name, you know, I see 50 others. I'm like, oh, Christ. <laughs> I'll yeah. put them there. We'll start with the Escape from Tarkov channel. 
obviously if you just left click that once just like you did to the recruitment office on the right side uh, you scroll down just a little bit uh, you'll see stuff like uh, some of your chain of command and most of the important ones uh, the battalion command you'd pay attention to the na command obviously these you'll see blue names you can obviously click those and it'll actually put you to their target